In the world of hip hop, rivalries are not just entertainment. They are epic sagas that define eras. Few feuds have captured the attention of the rap world like the Cold War between Kendrick Lamar and Drake. This isn't just a clash of titans, it's a cultural groundswell that pits raw lyrical genius against mainstream charisma. From subliminal jabs to overt callouts, this timeline of their rivalry unfolds like a Shakespearean drama set in the studio booths and blasted through speakers worldwide. Before the storm, there was calm. Kendrick Lamar and Drake began their careers with mutual respect, often praising each other's work. Kendrick, known for his deep lyrical complexity, and Drake, celebrated for his unique blend of singing and rapping, seemed to complement each other. Their early collaborations, such as Poetic Justice and appearances on the same tracks, hinted at a burgeoning respect and potential partnership that could dominate the hip-hop world. However, as both artists rose to prominence, their paths began to diverge. What started as mutual admiration slowly morphed into competitive tension. The seeds of discord were sown quietly, manifesting through competitive spirits and the inherent rivalry fostered by their rapid ascents in the music industry. This period set the stage for what would become one of the most talked about feuds in contemporary music. The release of Big Sean's Control in 2013, featuring Kendrick Lamar, marked a pivotal moment in hip-hop. Kendrick's verse, where he called out several rappers including Drake, sent shockwaves through the industry. He asserted his dominance, proclaiming himself the King of New York and challenging his peers to step up their game. This verse was seen as a direct confrontation to the status quo, including Drake's position at the top. Drake's response was subtle yet revealing. Instead of a direct lyrical retort, he expressed his feelings in interviews, questioning the relevance of Kendrick's call-out and choosing to let the music speak. Drake's subsequent tracks carried veiled references and jabs that fans and critics interpreted as responses to Kendrick's provocations. This marked the beginning of a series of back-and-forth musical exchanges that would define their relationship for years to come. As their careers progressed, so did the intensity of their rivalry. Each album and public appearance became a potential platform for one to outdo the other. Kendrick's 2015 masterpiece, To Pimp a Butterfly, contrasted sharply with Drake's If You're Reading This, It's Too Late, showcasing their differing artistic directions and philosophies. Lyrically, both artists began embedding more pointed barbs aimed at each other. Drake's 6 p.m. in New York and Kendrick's King Kunta were laden with lines that fans interpreted as direct shots at each other. These tracks not only fueled the feud, but also encouraged fans to pick sides, further entrenching the divide between the two camps. The feud reached its lyrical zenith with tracks like Drake's Back to Back and Kendrick's Humble. Both tracks were aggressive, with Kendrick's lines perceived as mocking Drake's authenticity and artistry. Meanwhile, Drake's lyrics often seemed to question Kendrick's street credibility and background. This part of the feud was characterized by a lack of subtlety. Both artists were more direct in their criticisms of each other. The rap community and their fans dissected every line and every interview for signs of escalation. This period not only highlighted their personal conflict, but also their different approaches to music and fame. As the feud persisted, it became clear that Kendrick and Drake were not just battling for supremacy in rap, but were also forging distinct artistic paths. Kendrick's albums continued to delve into complex social issues and personal introspection, while Drake mastered the art of creating viral hits that resonated with a broader audience. This divergence was reflected in their music's content and reception. While Kendrick was lauded for his artistic depth and integrity, Drake was celebrated for his commercial success and ability to dominate the charts. Their rivalry thus was not just personal, but also represented a larger debate within hip-hop about commercial success versus artistic merit. The feud between Kendrick and Drake was not confined to their music. Other artists and industry insiders often weighed in, sometimes choosing sides, at other times calling for peace. Figures like J. Cole and Diddy were indirectly involved, 
with their actions and words adding layers to the narrative. Privately, reports suggested that the tension was palpable when the two were in the same vicinity, though there were never any public altercations. This behind-the-scenes dynamic added an element of suspense and intrigue to their public appearances, keeping fans and the media on high alert for any signs of a thaw or escalation in their rivalry. The media played a crucial role in amplifying the feud between Kendrick and Drake. Every lyric, interview, and social media post was analyzed and often sensationalized to depict a larger-than-life battle. This not only increased the visibility of their rivalry, but also, at times, may have exacerbated the tensions. Social media platforms became battlegrounds where fans and detractors alike would champion their chosen artist. Memes, tweets, and video snippets circulated rapidly, each new release becoming a fresh opportunity for public debate and dissection. This media frenzy ensured that the feud remained in the public eye, fueling its continuation and impact. The Kendrick vs. Drake feud was not just a personal or artistic conflict, it was a cultural phenomenon fueled by their fan bases. Fans played a significant role, using social media to defend their favorite artist and criticize the other. This fan involvement turned the feud into a broader cultural conversation about music, loyalty, and identity. Fan theories about hidden messages in songs and speculative analysis of potential disses added layers of complexity to the rivalry. This engagement from the fan base not only kept the feud alive, but also deepened the artist's narratives, making each release a potential statement in the ongoing saga. The rivalry between Kendrick and Drake transcended their personal conflict, influencing broader cultural discussions within hip-hop. It sparked debates about the nature of competition in music, the balance between commercial success and artistic integrity, and the role of the media in shaping artists' careers. This feud also highlighted the regional differences and stylistic divergences within hip-hop, serving as a microcosm of larger industry trends and changes. It challenged other artists to reflect on their own positions and contributions to the culture, often inspiring them to elevate their own work. Certain events and releases marked the high points of the Kendrick-Drake feud. Kendrick's verses on tracks like The Heart Part 4 and his performance at the 2016 Grammy Awards were seen as direct challenges to Drake. Conversely, Drake's releases and performances were scrutinized for any hint of retaliation or commentary on Kendrick. These peaks were not only significant for their immediate impact, but also for how they influenced subsequent releases and public statements from both artists. Each peak seemed to escalate the stakes, making the feud a central narrative of their careers during these periods. Throughout the feud, there were fleeting moments where reconciliation seemed possible. Instances such as mutual friends trying to broker peace or indirect acknowledgments in interviews suggested that both artists were aware of the feud's personal and professional toll. However, these attempts often fell short either through renewed hostilities in lyrics or the competitive nature of the industry which thrived on the drama. The authenticity of these reconciliation efforts was always in question as fans and media speculated about the true intentions behind the conciliatory gestures. The Kendrick vs. Drake feud will undoubtedly be remembered as one of the defining narratives of early 21st century hip-hop. It showcased the complex interplay between personal ambition, artistic expression, and public spectacle. This rivalry not only shaped the careers of Kendrick and Drake, but also left a lasting impact on the genre. It raised questions about the nature of rivalry itself, whether it was a driving force for innovation or a divisive element that detracted from the artistry. As of today, the relationship between Kendrick Lamar and Drake remains complex. While overt hostilities have cooled, the competitive undercurrent persists. Recent projects have seen fewer direct references to each other, suggesting a possible shift towards mutual respect or simply a focus on individual artistic journeys. The current status of their relationship is emblematic of the maturity and evolution of both artists.
The Kendrick vs. Drake feud is a compelling chapter in the annals of hip-hop history, reflecting the tensions and triumphs of the genre. It serves as a reminder of the power of words and the impact of rivalry in shaping not just music, but cultural narratives. As we reflect on this saga, it's clear that the real winner is the music itself and the fans who engage with it so passionately. This feud, with all its complexity and controversy, underscores the dynamic and ever-evolving nature of hip-hop, a genre that continues to challenge, captivate, and inspire.